Uh, before we start this uh, gearbox job, I'd just like to say a couple of words about uh, tools over and above the normal sockets and spanners, screwdrivers, etc., that we're going to need for this job. And this tool that I've got in front of me, which is uh, a gearbox output shaft flange puller, it comes in three parts, um, as you can see here, and you use this tool for removing the um, nut on the back of the out gearbox output shaft flange uh, and then you use the pull apart for um, uh, taking the flange off which is held should be held tightly on a taper the nut is done up to considerable torque so you will need a, a, a good means of being able to hold the gearbox output shaft flange whilst you undo the nut so that's the purpose of this tommy bar here that fits into the tool like that and then you can hold the uh, the tommy bar whilst you put a socket down the center and uh, undo the um, the nut uh, once the nut's undone you've got to take this tool off again and then this part fits in and uh, then you can pull the flange by um, screwing the, you know, the center bolt down uh, whilst you're holding the flange and that should pop the flange off the shaft and they can be extremely tight on the taper so you do need a decent tool you don't have to have this tool you could make one like you see in the picture here or alternatively you could buy a pattern one from a pattern part supplier the other special tool you're going to need is this which um, uh, supports the uh, gear shafts uh, in place whilst you are making taking measurements uh, for setting the gearbox shafts end float um, and um, again uh, this is a gear, uh, BMW special tool which I've uh, acquired and um, it's quite important to have it to have that you can um, do a homemade job I've found a picture of one on the internet which I'll put on um, uh, this video just to show you what a homemade one looks like and that's made out of, uh, looks like to me about uh, 15 mil thick um, aluminium plate this is steel plate it needs to be a good smooth surface the one I've got in front of me here is a ground plate and as I say it's the BMW special tool this is a 0 to 25 micrometer and uh, you'll need that for uh, measuring your shims accurately uh, don't rely on the supplier of the shims to uh, for them to be what they say they are experience has taught me in the past that uh, you should always measure the shims and uh, make a note of exactly the size of the shim that you're using the other thing you're going to need is a depth gauge micrometer uh, again for measuring um, taking various measurements actually on the gearbox so they can establish how much shimming you need to do uh, and you'll see this obviously in action as you will with all the other tools uh, the last thing I'd like to mention is uh, torque wrenches the, there's quite a range of torque wrench settings on these gearboxes the uh, gearbox cover bolts are as low as about 8 newton meters and uh, the dry flange nut is about 240 newton meters so um, you'll need quite a range of torque wrenches well that's it on tools um, the next video that I'll put up after this one will be uh, an actual gearbox strip down uh, so uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention is that if you are watching this in the UK and you're a member of the BMW club they have a scheme whereby you can borrow special tools so the tools I've mentioned here the plate the measuring plate and the um, extractor um, you could probably borrow off of them if you don't want to buy okay right uh, see you in the next video